I heard that next to Bali there is an island where the wave break perfectly and where some spots are still intact. In the water, as in life, catching a wave is about timing, which is why my quest for progression and discovery of this legendary wave, I left Bali to go there. Since I arrived, it seems like the element conspired against me. Finding a wave that works perfectly is already a challenge, but whims of Mother Nature with her intense rain had an obstacle. Frustration is part of the game. Like some current, you have to know how to use it wisely. I learned a lot during these few days of storm, especially that surfing helps to meet unique personality and to realize that everyone is in the same situation, waiting for the break to hit the water. After long hours of reflection, wondering if I would finally manage to surf this wave that I imagined in my dreams, the cyclone moves away, finally drawing an opportunity. I then understood that the calm I was looking for was in the chaos of the wave, strange for some, logical for me. I think I found it. In life, as on the wave, it's my intuition that led me here. I understood that in surfing you are and you don't just do it, with a very importance to relationship with nature. A wave is an energy and will be transmitted to the person on the wave. This vision of surfing as a therapy, I wanted to share it with those around me, with the soul of purpose of sharing my feeling and sharing moments together. Simple moment that we no longer take time to appreciate this day with the speed of the world around us.
I'm very grateful for what nature has brought me and what it has allowed me to achieve once again.